An Idaho family is fighting the government in court after a federal worker mistakenly placed a cyanide trap near the family's home. Mark and Teresa Mans Mansfield are suing for more than $150,000 in damages. They say the trap injured their son and killed their dog. Government lawyers say the family is to blame for any damages. Anna Werner is here with their response. Anna, good morning. Good morning, John. Canyon Mansfield activated a cyanide trap known as an M44. It's a device the U.S. Department of Agriculture uses to kill predatory animals like coyotes. And according to the family, no one with the government told them the poisonous device was near their backyard. Every parent wants their child to be able to go outside behind their house, walk their dog without feeling like they're in danger. Teresa Mansfield says her son still suffers from headaches more than a year after the incident that she says injured him and killed their pet. Canyon Mansfield was playing with his dog Casey behind their home in March 2017 when Canyon saw what he describes as a sprinkler-like pipe sticking out of the ground. The teen described what happened to the Idaho State Journal just days later. So I bend down and I touch it and I hear a pop and then a sis and then so that's the gas coming out and like it was orange powder. Canyon says he knew the situation was dangerous and he tried to call Casey to him, but the dog wasn't getting up. I saw the, this red froth coming from his mouth and like his eyes turning glassy and he was like having a seizure. The device was an M44 cyanide trap designed to protect livestock from predators. According to court documents, the device was about 300 yards behind the Mansfield's property on federally managed land. An agriculture department worker acknowledged placing the cyanide trap. and the Associated Press reports, the government decided to stop using the traps on federal lands in Idaho months earlier. But in court documents filed on Monday, the government rejected the Mansfield's claims and asked for their lawsuit to be dismissed, claiming the family's negligence led to Casey's death and Canyon's injuries. But Mansfield claims the state of Idaho found Federal Wildlife Services at fault. I find it crazy that the state of Idaho fined Wildlife Services $6,000 for negligence with our case, but yet the U.S. government is saying it's our fault. We reached out to the Justice Department, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, and the Department of Agriculture, who all declined to comment. Nora. I'd never heard of a cyanide trap no, before. No, 44 I've never heard of that. They actually use these um, efforts to control what they consider to be, you know, problem animals sure. for, like, cattle ranchers out there. But there's a lot of dispute over what kind of animals they're killing and whether they really need to kill them. And then, of course, you have these incidents. This is not the only one where a pet or a human came across them. You think they should at least let residents know about what these are, right? I mean, that's what the family is saying, yeah. like, hey, it's right behind our house. Right. For a government that believes in giving power to the states, the argument from the state that the government is at fault seems to be a pretty powerful piece of information in the case. Yeah. All right, Anna, thank you.